Some say that he is the most supreme, supreme Grand Master, and that he wears the lion helm to gain a few inches of height on the lion, and that he wields the Sword of Secrets to compensate for his lack of <clears throat> length. All we know, he's called the Azrael. Ah, yes. The supreme Grand Master of the Dark Angels, Azrael, has finally been released. And in this video, we are going to be taking a very, very in-depth look at this excellent action figure. And without further ado, let's dive right on in. Come join me and we will see what makes the Supreme Grand Master supreme. All right, Chapter Master, show us what you got. And it appears you have a great many, many things. All right, folks, we have a lot to cover with Azrael. As you can see, there is a lot of accessories off the side, and we don't even have his personal banner, as well as the Watcher in the Dark, which we will get to in a second. But let's take a look at the body of Azrael himself. And from first cursely glance, is a very, very well put together action figure, in my opinion. So, as usual, we will take a look at Azrael's face. There is a lot of definition on his face. He's got a very deep frown on his face. And you can see that there is also a very deep scarring over here. And if you want to look at his eyes, they are screened on very nicely. He has a very deep frown on his face. And he also sports a very hawkish nose. There is some light shading in the deeper recesses of his face. Then around his head, you can see this cowl or hoodie over here. And the hoodie is actually very nicely shaded here in the deeper recesses. So pauldron wise, he has his own special pauldron, obviously that says Azrael over here. And the Azrael is etched into the plastic itself and obviously shaded to give more depth onto the action figure. And with the banners themselves, they mimic pretty much the cloak that is around the action figure with a bunch of shading. And then if we flip around to the other side, you get the Dark Angels symbols. And these symbols have also plenty of shading that is happening with it. You can see these purity seals that are dangling down. And attached to the pauldron is a heraldic shield. And unfortunately, apparently my heraldic shield, the sword over here has a little bit of bleed so hopefully if you do actually end up picking this action figure up yourself it will not have that bleed right there and there are ribbons off to the side as well as a feather looking at Azrael's broad chest there is a hose that surrounds his head you can see that there is i believe another watcher in the deep right here that is holding a red sword, and this one has wings off to the side of it. So moving on to the torso of this action figure, there are plenty of purity seals that are emblazoned all over the place. There's two of them right here. There is a special kind of pendant that is attached right here. And this weathering mimics the weathering that you see on the Primaris bolt rifles, and it has a bunch of red dots in the middle to give more definition to stand out from the monotony, I suppose, of the silver. And dangling down here is an amulet, and this end of the amulet right here does not have too much shading that is happening with it. You flip around to the back, there is Azrael's two pouches, there is a holstered bolt pistol off to the side, and there is plenty of shading on the wings of this particular holster. You have this cloak that surrounds Azrael, and in the middle of this one is a purple cloak that has some highlighting that's going on with the side, as well as some embroidery on the outside of it. And as we flip up this cloak, there is plenty of highlights that are happening with the armor plating right here and a golden skull. So that is Azrael's body. We will take a look at the Sword of Secrets. Now, the Sword of Secrets is a very, very long sword. Quite literally, as this thing is taller than the person that wields it. And as we take a look at it, there is that characteristic power sword transition where you have the dark gunmetal all the way up to this nice silver. The thing that's different about this sword is that, well, 
these power nodes are actually gold instead of the characteristic blue that we've seen on the rest of the space marine power swords and there is a nice color selection of gold red and silver to fully round out the sword of secrets taking a look at the lion's wrath it is a combination of a bolt gun up top and a plasma gun on the bottom so up top you get to see this large magazine that's sticking out of the side of it that serves the bolt gun portion of it and the bolt gun portion also has a nice winged skull if we flip around the other side that skull is also present and down here is the plasma gun element although i have to say that it is slightly disappointing to me that the plasma gun element the glow here is just a flat blue it would have been nice if it was a metallic blue kind of color now take a look at the lion helm now this helmet is very very ornate so with the wing there are similarities between the tassel of the adeptus custodes or it is base red and then it is shaded a dark color up here however the highlights are there but very very faint the lenses are a nice metallic red color and there is a fantastic symbol of a lion straight on the center of it well this backpack is kind of the same as the rest of the primaris backpacks except for one fact is that well you have a highly weathered skull that is off to the side right here and the skull is a dark gray that's been weathered up with a lighter gray or white type of color to give a nice contrast we will take a look at the watcher in the dark as well as Azrael's unique banner all right let's take a look at the watcher in the dark and it is holding the sword of secrets in its hands or arms whatever you want to call it and there is a lot of detail on this little figure right here it kind of reminds me of a jawa <laughs> a little bit to be honest but either way so within the folds of this fabric once again there is lots of shading that's happening with it i do appreciate the shading it does give a lot of definition on this part of this action figure so we're going to remove the sword of secrets right here and the watcher in the dark has a tome as well as cords that are wrapped around this action figure i suppose to hold the robes together and the cords are actually highlighted quite nicely you can see that this guy's rocking a set of keys and this is what the bottom of the watcher in the dark looks like so you, you may be wondering about the sword of secrets here this part mimics the naked blade but you can see the scabbard that is happening and the scabbard has a lot of contrast and color you've got the white up here the black with the scabbard itself and the gold at the end of it so there's a lot of definition here there is highlighting that's happening at the edges of the scabbard and for those of you who are wondering if you can actually unsheathe it yes you can but it's kind of like a nubbin that comes out so this is what it looks like right here and you can put it back so that is the sheath form of the sword of secrets and now over to Azrael's personal banner there is lots of stuff that's going on with it too there's plenty of shading that's happening with the wings right here and as we progress further on down there is lots of definition look at the fabric here it looks like it's flowing and it looks like it's kind of like flapping with the wind too so even though that this is static there looks like there's movement that is going on with it there's a nice transition of a flame from yellow to orange to red and finally you have Azrael emblazoned on this part of it all right and that's the banner and i will now lightly touch upon the movement of Azrael. so the movement of Azrael, in terms of the torso as well as the arms head is pretty much the same as any other space marine however there is a restriction of movement down here because of the cape so you can only really kick it back this far out before it gets blocked it doesn't have as much range of motion as the other space marines that we've seen and then you can kick this far up but it sounds like the plastic is straining all right so that is Azrael in the flesh let me wrap this one up well there was a lot of stuff that was going on with this action figure there are many things to love especially with the standard that Azrael is rocking it is his custom banner so it is unique and one of a kind as well as his face sculpt is also unique and one of a kind as he is well a very very special character in the dark angels lore his two weapons the lion's wrath as well as the sword of secrets are also very very excellent 
examples of unique weapons, especially the Sword of Secrets that you can see here, as well as the two skulls on his backpack, as well as the flowing cloak that he has is excellently shaded, and I really like all the detail that Joy Toy has put in. And finally, the Watcher in the Dark is, well, a fairly cute and diminutive looking action figure. However, it is also very detailed with the cloak as, as detailed as Azrael on the left-hand side. And the sheathed version of the Sword of Secrets is also very badass in itself. The only slight issue Azrael has is really the limited amount of motion that you're able to get with the legs. So my overall verdict is this guy is pretty badass. He has a lot of detail, a lot of unique things that are going on with him that I would say this guy is definitely going to be a must get if you are going to be collecting unique space marines or just space marines in general. So anyways, this is Spruce and Studs and thank you for tuning in as usual. You guys are awesome. And once again, if you are interested in collecting this action figure for yourself, please click on the link in the description below to receive 12% off on your purchase. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next one.